Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by Dr. Phone Repair. If you're having any issues with your iOS 12 or iOS 13 device, Dr. Phone Repair will help you recover and restore your device without any data loss. Rather, your iPhone is stuck on recovery mode, on DFU mode, or in a constant boot loop, this software will help you recover your device without any data loss. You can also use it to downgrade from iOS 13 back to iOS 12. And if you want a chance to win one of 10 free license codes, links will be in the description. Thank you to Dr. Phone for sponsoring today's video. So yesterday, Apple released iOS 12.4 with a brand new awesome feature that allows you to migrate all of your data from an older iPhone to a new iPhone very easily using a Wi-Fi connection. So let's say you upgraded from an iPhone 8 to an iPhone 10s. I'm going to show you how to use the brand new transfer your data migration data transfer from iPhone to iPhone in this video. So all you have to do is once you buy your new iPhone, unlock it and you'll get prompted on the old iPhone to start the setup process. So once you lock it and unlock it, click unlock device, go ahead and use your touch ID device and click continue here. And this will actually communicate with both devices here. And you see that using the camera on the old iPhone, I can scan right here, the new iPhone and the pairing process has begun. The data transfer process will now begin. We have to enter the passcode from the old iPhone into the new iPhone. In this case is 000. I use that passcode just for test devices. Never use that passcode, it is not a good idea. Anyway, both devices are now communicating and all of the data from the old iPhone will be transferred wirelessly to the new iPhone using the Wi-Fi connection. So it is recommended to do this at home. Of course, this can take anywhere from five to 10 to even 20 minutes, depending on how much data you have on your old iPhone for this data to transfer. And of course, that's also going to depend on your Wi-Fi speeds as well. So once both devices are communicating, you'll get prompted with Face ID. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our Face ID device here. If we do upgrade to a Face ID device, it is now set up and all we have to do now is continue with the process. Now keep in mind, both devices do have to be running iOS 12.4 or above. And here is the new screen that you get in iOS 12.4. You have two options to migrate this data. You can use the cloud as before, or you can do the iPhone to iPhone. So that's the new option that we wanna choose. Both devices will now begin to communicate and transfer everything. I mean, everything that's on this phone, it's gonna be a carbon copy on the new phone, which is awesome. I know a lot of people wanted this feature. Not everyone uses the cloud for everything. With this new feature, you can keep the data on your device and transfer it from an older to a newer iPhone, just like that, using Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and wait for the actual process to be completed. After a few seconds, you'll get prompted to agree to the new terms, click setup, click through the menus here. And once you're done setting up your device the way you want it to set up, you'll see that the transfer will begin. So you have to go through the initial setup before any of the data is transferred over to the new device. Here we go. The actual transfer process has begun. Now we can open our new devices or old device next to the new device, and they both have to be next to each other until the transfer is complete. Since I don't have that much data on the iPhone 8, it says a minute here to transfer all the data over, but it's not gonna take a minute for you. Keep in mind this is going to take a while so you need to keep both devices connected to a power source connected to the same Wi-Fi network and until the data is completely transferred okay so the transfer has been completed as you see here so on the old iPhone we get a prompt here that tells us how to actually get rid of all the data on the iPhone so before we trade it in give it away or sell it we can go ahead and erase it it's recommended to erase the device and you can go ahead and do that it will show you how to do that and here it is the new iPhone now has everything that was on the old iPhone just like that so it's a really cool feature I just wanted to share this one with you guys I hope you guys enjoy the video and this quick tutorial on how to use the iPhone migration data transfer on the new iOS 12.4 I hope you guys have a great day thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one peace